a vulgar and sexist jibe against BJP's newest entry in the Lok Sabha poll battle, a Bollywood star who is now a Lok Sabha aspirant. Kangana Ranaut fielded as BJP's candidate from Himachal Pradesh's Mandi. Kangana found herself at the receiving end of a particularly vulgar online attack by several Congress leaders, including Congress social media head Supriya Shinet. A highly objectionable post on Kangana was shared by the Congress spokesperson on her official Instagram account, which also heaped insult on Mandi, Kangana's birthplace and constituency. Later, exclusively speaking to India Today, Supriya Shanit claimed that the social media post which was taken down was made by someone else who had access to her meta accounts. A lot of people through the course of elections and campaigns get access to accounts and a lot of people have access to my Insta and Facebook account. So I was very shocked to see this objectionable post. I was out and the moment I saw it, I deleted it. And anybody who knows me will know that I am a flag bearer for feminism. I would never ever use the kind of language that that post on Instagram and Facebook had used. After deleting it, I figured out that there is a parody account that's running and misusing my name. It looks exactly like my account and the objectionable post came there first. In a scathing response to Shinit's remarks, Kangana accused the Congress of displaying a sexist and anti-woman mindset. Tweets by Supriya and other Congress Netas also stirred an outrage on social media. Several BJP leaders, including Union Minister Smriti Irani, came out in support of Kangana stamming the Congress. Here is yet another example of Congress's Mohabbat Ki Dukan. The worst thing is, a woman posted it. A woman who otherwise claims to be tolerant and full of love. And she exposes herself every step of the way. I condemn it in the strongest possible words. Because when you attack a woman on how she looks, what she wears, etc., it's the lowest that you can fall and Congress has already hit rock bottom now. Launching scathing barbs at the party, BJP said the opposition has become morally bankrupt. The Congress party opposes uniform civil code which is for women empowerment. This means that the Congress party stands with rapists, it stands with women molesters, it stands with those who abuse women, but it stands against women. Today we demand immediate sacking of Supriya Shinet. If she is allowed to continue, then Priyanka Vadra has no right to say Ladki hu, lad sakti hu. BJP Netas have also posed questions to Congress President Malika Arjun Kharge and Priyanka Gandhi demanding Shinet's expulsion.